Hi and welcome to another go with seed sowing. I had a friend of mine ask me about uh, seed sowing, saw the video. I said, what about, what about uh, fine seed? And what he was, he got a little pack of the seeds and he opened them up and they looked like dust. Um, and he was a little preoped about that. He said, well, how do you do it? The books tell you that you can use what's called a carrier, which is um, silver sand, which you add to the seed and that's what you use. I've never seen anybody really feature it that well so um, I'm going to do it but I was taught using sugar and the way of sugar is it's um, easy to see you've got loads of it in your cupboard and it's cheap and obviously uh, the sugar is very handy for tea and coffee as long as you haven't got any seeds left in it so the thing to do is uh, <clears throat> get your compost as I did before you knock it down don't put too much on your potting bench because if you're using a fine seed, you won't see it in the compost. And to, be, to potentially, this could be wasted. So don't go crazy. Ideally, you can always fill your container up first, loosely, just to see how much you put on your bench. All right. So we'll give that a knock down. Um, if you're not too, if you've got one without any holes in, all I do is just use your scissors and just put a couple of nicks in the corners like that. And that will help drain them. Don't be obsessed about putting a hole in the middle. The water will find its way out. Okay. So same as before. Some great bits of shrapnel in there. Right. Now, sowing seed for me is great because it's a great way of getting a bit of headspace if you're struggling a bit. I used to tell people if you want to get out of your own way, you want to do something like this. Okay. I used to work in a in, in a prison. And it's a great way of, uh, you know, if somebody wants to just to chill out a bit or uh, get in touch with themselves again. So knock it down like I did before. You saw it off like that. Get it nice and level. Press board. Like I said, you could use one of these to pin it down with. Press board works quite well. You must be level. All right, move that out of the way. Now this is where it gets interesting. I've got my high-tech uh, seed sour made with a milk carton. You could use, um, most people used to use envelopes. Uh, back in the day, we used to use something called pay packets. Do you remember them? Um, so you could put your, your sand or your stuff in there, but this way works quite as well. So most people say, well, what measurements have we got? Well, it, what you tend to have is a pinch of seed uh, so this seed here is not much bigger than the grains of sugar. You wouldn't think it, but I don't know if you can see there, that's 250 seeds in there. Um, that's plenty for me. So that works out to be about a pinch. So you're looking at the pinch of seeds into your seed sour. And what you use is sugar, ordinary sugar, ordinary, you know, milk two sugars, ordinary sugar. You want about half a level teaspoon. Because the thing is, if you're using old sugar, whatever sugar you use, you're going to have to sew it. Give it a swirly whirly round. I have to do this standing up. So you can see what we're doing. Get it all mixed up and gently, so you can see, work your way across. And the idea is, as the sugar goes across the top of the pot, it will put the seed. Do not look at the seed sower. Keep your eye on the tray. And if the sugar is even, and every now and again, give it a rattle round. Keep moving it round. Don't think you'll get it all on one hit. Just gradually, gradually. What the sugar does is it modifies the seed to come out nice and even. All right. And it, it works on really, really fine seed as well. Much finer than this. If you can't handle the seed with a seed sour or you can't pick it up, this is a great way of doing it. And also, when you water it, sugar disappears, which is great. So if you want to practice, just use sugar. And I guarantee after a while, just keep swirling it around. Okay, get, just get a good even action with it. Like I said, try, try it with ordinary sugar for a couple of times to see if you can get it. If you get most of the sugar in the pot, you're winning. And that's what you want, okay? So the idea is you've got no sugar, no seeds. Pile it over there. So it should be nice and even. With the sugar you can see. Same as before. Get it rubbed through your fingers so you want it nice and fine. 
you've got too many lumps in it it'll struggle to germinate through okay and then so yeah using sugar is brilliant it really works for that it does stick a bit if it's wet weather but really it's a, a great way of doing it you can use silver sand it's a little quicker a little faster like that now these are, are aqualegia granny's bonnet known as now there's me see gently get it going first these are great these little spouty things i get them off the internet they're going on most like pot bottles and what have you they're ideal so there you go you put your label in like i said i use the bits of peg i've got left over like that and i put my label on like that and that'll come up and you probably get a lovely but the main thing as i said sugar works really really well um just a pinch of seed half a teaspoon full of sugar and the main thing is practice so why don't practice with sugar first get it nice and even and then you, you can't go wrong really so that's how you do fine seed okay i'm going to leave the quest the comments open on this one so if you want to ask any questions please do